Okay guys, so today we are going to be looking at this Ryoko Power Bank. This product can be used in emergency situations or for hiking slash camping slash traveling trips to supply you with power or lighting. So I picked up this product from Amazon a year ago. Currently on the Amazon site, there is an updated version of this product, but I will speak more to that at the end of this video. So let's see what came in this box. Okay guys, so these are the items that came in the box. You have your user manual, one USB cable, and you have the Ryoko power bank. Okay guys, so this is a nice looking device. It is orange and black. I like the colors. Now where did I hear that before? It feels really good in the hand. Um, it actually looks similar to a large cell phone. And it has this non-slip grip as you can see here. It also comes with a carabiner. Oh, you mean a hook? Yes, yes, I mean a hook. But the right term for it is carabiner. Just say a hook. Fine, a hook. There you go. And the back of the device looks like this. In order to turn on the power bank, you need to turn it to the back. So here's the power button right here. So you just press that once. And the device comes on. Now my power bank is showing you four LED lights. These LED lights just give an indication of the battery level in the device. Four lights just means that this device is between 85 to 100% charged. So if you see one light, you know that you're on the low end. And if you see four lights, it means that you're fully charged or almost fully charged. Now this product has a 10 LED light and I'm going to show that to you now. All you have to do to turn on the light is long press the power button four to five seconds and the light will come on. One, two, three, four. There you go. So if you are in a situation where you need a little illumination and you have this power bank with you you have a 10 led light and in order to turn this off you just long press the power button or you double click the power button there you go okay guys in order to charge or power your various usb items all you have to do is to move the silicon water resistant plug and that will expose two USB outputs. One here, one over here. So in this instance, I am going to get my cell phone and my USB fan. We're going to charge the cell phone and we are going to power the fan. Don't have enough space it seems so you turn the device to the back turn it on and automatically the cell phone will start to charge And in order to get the USB fan going, you need to turn it on, obviously. <laughs> 
so you can power the fan and charge the phone all at the same time using the two USB outputs now guys this device is dust proof shock proof and waterproof so we are going to test the waterproof capabilities now so just gotta make sure that the silicone water resistant plug is in place so bring in the water So guys, here we have some H2O and what we are going to do, we are going to let the Ryoko power bank go for a swim. This doesn't work. <laughs> if not, I will need a new power bank. <laughs> So there it went guys, I think it might have survived, just, just let me check, I'll turn on the light. Ah, oh, there you go, it's on the water and the LED lights still come on so I believe that that should prove this device is water. Okay guys, you have two ways in which you can charge this power bank. Once again, remove or move the silicone water resistant plug. That will reveal the USB input. So all we have to do is get the USB cable. smaller end here and you can run the other end to your computer or set it up like this and run it to an electrical outlet I'm going to do that now and you will know that the power bank is charging by turning it to the back what you will see here are four LED lights, three are solid, one is flashing, which is indicating that the battery level is almost full. You also have another option for charging this device. What you see here is the solar panel. All you have to do is get the solar panel in the sunlight and you can charge the device that way also. Okay guys, we are on the outside. I just wanted to show you the red LED light that illuminates when this device is solar charging. You should be able to see a red LED light right here. So guys, this power bank has served me well in the past and quite recently when our island was struck by a hurricane and we were without electrical power for a period of time, I was able to charge my cell phone and run my USB fan off of this power bank. Now I've checked on Amazon, there is an updated or upgraded version of this power bank. Now the one on Amazon is twice the capacity of this one and I will include a product link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video, God willing.